Hello and welcome to another Nihongo Gamer video. Sorry, actually last week I didn't manage to get this video up because I just had so many other videos that I had to make, it just completely ran out of time. But we're back this week. Actually, no real games came out last week on the PSN, uh, on PS Vita. Actually, it was mostly um, DLC and that sort of thing. Let's just jump straight into the PS Vita store. Alright, let's have a look at all the new releases. Let's click on new releases here, and it looks like the first title is The Great Edo Blacksmith. I know a lot of people have been really looking forward to this. Um, I honestly don't know what the main premise is, apart from the fact that I think you're, you're, um, you're a blacksmith, and you have like a certain amount of time before you die, and maybe you have to get these girls to fall in love with you before that happens. So this is what we've got available to you. It looks like there's some dungeon traveling involved as well. So um, I guess you go dungeon traveling, you pick up resources, and then you just buy stuff for these girls, or you make stuff. I guess you're a blacksmith. It's about $50, so it's not too bad, I guess. Um, and I think, um, let's see how big was the download. It's about 680 megs, so it's a small download. It's quite easy to put onto your Vita card. Let's move on to the next one. This is Next Generation Ginsei Ego. I don't know if you're familiar with this game, but this is a Japanese... I don't, actually, I don't know if it's originally Japanese, but I've played it here in Japan, and it's Go. Um, I guess it's, like, what, Othello? And uh, I guess you put the, the white and the black things in different places, and if you put them in the right place, you can um, flip them to be your colour. And I guess you want to take over the entire board, make it all your colour color? I'm pretty sure that's how it works. It looks like a, a like a hyper, hyper version of Othello. Alright, so this looks like it was just released today. Code Realize. I think this is a visual novel. Yes, so this is a visual novel with uh, your usual beautiful men. Wow, if you are into visual novels with beautiful men, you have got, you've got your pick of the games this month because there are plenty, plenty of them. This one's about 50, 51 dollars. Is it a big download? It's quite heavy, actually. It's 3,000 400 megabytes, so just make sure you got space on your card if you're downloading this one. Okay, it looks like Nisekoi has finally come out. This is um, a, I think this is a manga as well. It's like a manga and a TV anime, and now it's a video game. There's plenty of DLC. Um, let's see. In fact, I don't even see the game. I only see DLC. Oh, no, 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 no. This is the whole game plus DLC as a set, and you get to choose which one you want. So if you choose this top one, you get the game plus special DLC for this girl, I guess? Let's see. Yep, so that is the girl there. Um, I, I assume that it's the same game, actually. I guess it's just the special DLC that comes for free is with this one, and I assume that they'll release the DLC separately for the other girls, if depending on no matter which set you buy. So, um, I'm not familiar with the anime, I've seen the first episode, but I honestly don't remember any of the names of the characters, but her name is Chitoge Kirisaki. I'll just move down to the next one and see what this girl is. There you go. This is what she looks like in the game. Her name is Kosaki Onodera. Okay, and you can move down to the next one as well. Let's see. This is a girl with blue hair. Her name is Seishiro Tsugumi. Okay, and move down to the next one. Who is she? Girl in an apron. She's quite cute. Um, Marika Tachibana. Okay, quite cool. She's got a more. She lives in a Japanese style house, I guess. Uh, let's see. What's this? Girl with glasses. She's also pretty cool looking. Rudy Miyamoto. Whoa, she's got wings. What's this? There's DLC for Project Diva F Second. Oh, by the way, I, I noticed that you guys got Project Diva F Second last week um, out in the West. Awesome, awesome game. In fact, I think um, it's in my my Vita now. You can see my card here. I'm actually playing Project Diva right now. Let's see what is actually new this week. There's one new song here, Rolling Girl. Um, I don't know what game this appeared on first. Maybe it was on Project Diva Extend or Project Diva um, 2. But this is a fantastic song, uh, very, very popular in Japan, and nice to see it um, make a reappearance on the PS Vita. Let's see if there are any new modules as well. There are, there's plenty of new modules actually. In fact, um, I think I didn't get a chance to check all these out before, but um, actually, every every month we've been getting stuff. So this is actually um, a costume that you can wear, which changes Miku's complete style. Like she's actually got completely different hair and different hair color. This one is called Yellow. I guess this, ah, it's because they released all those downloadable songs. Um, these are outfits that go with the songs, so you can download them. This one is Mako. She looks really great. Yes. Great. This one is another Mako one. This is kind of a Chinese looking dress, I guess. I'm not sure 
um, but it's kind of cat, <laughs> it's got a sort of cat look to it as well. So this was all released today, this is for November 27th, this is all the run up to Christmas, so whoa, whoa, it's a crisp. ah, okay, I was like, why is it so expensive? It's expensive because it's got all of the DLC in one set, so if you pay $15 or a bit less, um, you get all the different characters in their Santa suits. Let's look at them individually. This is Miku in her um, Santa suit. Fantastic, fantastic. Oh, I love the tie. So the white tie with the red stripes, that's cool. Move down to Reen, let's see what she looks like in her Santa suit. Nice, nice. Getting festive. I hope you're getting excited about Christmas, by the way. I hope, I'm, well, I guess with all the stuff that we've been putting on the Nihongo Gamer channel, probably getting quite a long list of things that you want to buy for Christmas. But anyway, let's move on to Ren. Ren, he's the, uh, he's the cool boy. Uh, he's definitely cooler than Kaito. I, I just cannot think of any redeeming features of Kaito. Sorry if you're, if you're a Kaito person, but he just, his songs, his voice, it just drives me kind of mental. Alright, let's have a look at Ruka. Looking pretty sweet. She's awesome. Kaito in his Christmas suit, he's looking kind of solemn or something, or angry. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm not a big fan of Kaito, but, you know, he does look cool in his Santa suit, so whatever. And what is this? This is the Mako one. This is Mako in... Oops, sorry, tried to skip one there. This is Mako in her Santa suit. Great. Is this the Blackjack song? I can't remember. Ah, this is for Rolling Girl. Um, they've actually they've actually translated Rolling Girl into Kaiten Shoujo, uh, which means Rolling Girl, um, into Japanese, even though the title's kind of in English. But there we have her in her um, school uniform. I guess this is kind of a, a winter-themed school uniform with the extra sweater parts um, over the traditional Japanese school uniform. So that's great! Plenty of new content. Rhythm, game, skins. Yes, there were two uh, Rhythm Game skins that were released today. This one is Concept. Um, this is the cat-themed uh, cat themed skin that you can use for Project Diva. But yeah, if you don't play Project Diva, this may be completely going over your head, but you can basically just change the, the dials and the look of the, um, the screen. Um, it, it doesn't actually change the gameplay in any way. Uh, or it may change how much fun you're having, I guess, I don't know. And this is the... what is this? This is Summer Memory Pink. So this is the pink summer memory skin. I like this. I like this a lot, actually. Um, the song, the song, not this particular song, but the song. Um, t I think it's called Time Machine or something. It's a really great song. Or maybe it's called Summer Memory, but um, it's a really great song from the original one. So it looks like we've got another visual novel here. It goes. It's quite expensive. It's about six thousand four hundred yen for this one. Uh, it's got a guy getting his arm bitten off by a... Oh, this is a PSP... Okay, the reason the screenshots are small is because this is a PSP game, but of course it is now playable on your Vita. Some guy molesting a girl in this picture, and some other guy who's got an eye patch. I guess that's kind of kinky, maybe. Um, he's uh, molesting some girl here. Look at the size of his hands! Are the size of real hands that big? Wow, it's very, very realistic. Fantasy Star Nova! Okay, so this is what we've been waiting for today. It's um, November 27th, and no Fantasy Star Nova came out today, and actually I've just come back from the store. And um, because I pre-ordered it, I got um, the game, obviously. I got the game itself. This is Fantasy Star Nova. I'm going to unbox that in another video um, next, as after this video, basically. I'm going to unbox that. And I've got a uh, tapestry, or a wall scroll, um, that came specially. I think um, it depends what shop you buy it at. So the shop I bought it at has a different scroll to other shops. So this is going to be quite exclusive. Anyway, I'm going to unbox all of that in a separate video, because I don't really have enough time right now to do it. So look forward to that um, afterwards. So 6,458 yen if you download it. Um, actually, I bought it the physical copy with the bonus uh, tapestry, and it was exactly the same price. So I don't know. If you must have a download version, fine. But um, I like the f I like the f um, freedom that it gives you to just buy the cartridge because I have multiple Vitas on different accounts, um, and I can just put the cartridge into any of them because it's region free. If I had it all download, I would I would have to be locked to the memory card, and that would be a bit of a hassle. You've already seen from the gameplay videos that I've been posting up recently what the gameplay is like. But here we have it again. Let's just have another look. At the screenshots. This game. 
is really, really cool. Um, it's definitely a step up from PSO2. I got a little bored a little quickly of the online game. There's a costume that you get for free. There's a gra Guras for a name G. Guras for a name G. Um, uh, I honestly couldn't tell you what that was. The next one is some sort of boost times two. These are all items I think that you can use in the game um, in addition to that first costume. There is a Tomodachi Shokai product code, so there's a code that helps you um, introduce the game to a friend um, if you needed or felt the need to do so. What is this? Fantasy Star Online 2 uh, item code, so there's an item code for the online game itself. The game's about 3 gigs, so it is fairly, um, it's fairly big, but it's not as big as PSO2. PSO2 was like... 4 or 5 gigs plus the update? It was a huge download. Fantasy Star Nova Theme. Okay, this costs 300 yen, so about $2.50, and it looks really awesome. Um, might have to download this. This looks really, really great. So it's got lots of characters from the game, changes all your buttons, you know, email, calendar, content, photos. Fate Hollow Ataraxia. So this is the game that we've been seeing a lot of demos for recently, but the game itself is finally out. This trial of edition seems to be still available, and the game itself, 5,400 yen. Um, I think it's probably a mixture of visual novel and mini game. That's quite cool. <laughs> quite cute, actually. I know a bunch of you guys do follow it, and uh, you, thanks for the recommendations. I'm definitely going to check out the anime eventually when I've got time. A little bit confused as to why Senra and Kagura is back on here. Uh, it's just price down, isn't it? I think it's just a little bit cheaper than it was before, basically. White Album 2. Um, why is it on the store? Uh, okay, so this is just a price down. Basically, White Album 2 is now cheaper than it was before. I don't think White Album 1 is on the Vita, but you can get White Album 2, which is the sequel and probably has a lot of the same characters. But there you go. It is now 2,000 yen, which is dirt cheap. What about this? Let's see if there's any Tokiden content. All right, so basically it's just another mission for Tokiden that came out today. Nothing too exciting about that. Love Live, School Idol Paradise. I've seen a couple episodes of this, but I haven't finished this series. Ah, the reason it's in the store is because this song and stage pack, which is free, has just come out. Little Big Planet Vita, why are you in the store? Let's have a look at the content. I have a feeling this is because there's a theme... No! Thanks giving costume. <laughs> okay, so this is a Thanksgiving... Oh, Happy Thanksgiving, by the way! Um, today is Thursday, no, November 27th. I guess that makes it um, Thanksgiving for you guys in the States. And uh, there you go, you've got Thanksgiving costume. He's got a turkey on his head. That's quite cute. Um, don't try that at home, like Mr. Bean style, that would be quite dangerous. The PlayStation 20 years uh, anniversary sale, oh my goodness. Okay, so if you are a PlayStation Plus subscriber, you get all this content on discount now. One Piece Pirate Warriors 2 is 4,000 yen. Dragon's Crown for 4,000 yen. Monster Hunter Portable 3rd is now 1,000 yen. That's dirt cheap for a Monster Hunter game. Definitely pick that up. Monster Hunter... Oh, what is Monster Hunter? Airu's Mura. Honestly, I don't know what this is, but it, I, it's a spin-off game featuring Airu. Um, I never played this, but you can still ride pigs and battle things. I don't know very much about it, but again, it's cheap. Four dollars, or three dollars, basically. Very, very cheap. That might be worth picking up. Monster Hunter Portable 2nd G. I do have this game as well. It's also pretty good. Um, if, you're, if you've got a Vita, you can take advantage of the second stick. You can actually set it to mirror the controls of the D-pad so that you can actually get proper um, twin-stick control on this. Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker. 500 yen! Brilliant! Actually, it's only, it's only 100 yen discount, so it was already pretty cheap. But there you go. That looks like a game definitely worth having. Final Fantasy, now I don't know why they're discounting this with the new game coming out, but um, 1,200 yen for Final Fantasy's Type 0. Um, again, if you don't have this on your Vita, you could pick it up now, or you could wait for it to come out. I think it's going to be a PS4. I don't know if it's a twin release with Vita as well, but it's coming out on PS4 at least. Um, later on uh, next year, I think, for PS4. Who doesn't love Dissidia? Run around as all your favorite Final Fantasy characters and just beat each other up. Here you go, this is the screenshots from Dissidia. Hey, hey, yeah. This is, this is definitely a game worth having, and I wouldn't mind getting the download version because 
I think it's one of those games that you want to just pick up at any time and just have a quick bout. Okay, if you're a Zanbatsu fan, there is some downloadable content for that as well. This came out a couple days ago. This is uh, some sort of recommended pack. I honestly can't see exactly what it is. It's a sticker set. Um, again, if you know more about the game, do let me know, but it looks like you can download stickers in the game. Um, and this one it costs about 300 yen. And this one is a starter. Okay, it comes with an anime ticket. If you're familiar with the game, it comes with 15 of some item and it's 900 yen, so presumably that's a good deal. Let's check out the Ninki ranking. Minecraft up there at the top, Muramasa is second, Dengeki Bunko Fighting Climax, awesome game. That is here um, next after Muramasa. This visual novel, the name of which I can't read. Powerful Pro Baseball, Terraria, Fate Stay Night. Torn, Dungeon Travelers 2, Star Strike Delta, God Eater 2, Gungeon Breaker, Sword Art Online, Hollow Fragment, Chaos Rings 3, the prequel trilogy, Disgaea 4, Hanayamata Yosokoi Live, um, Trails in the Flash 2, La Labyrinth de Grisaya, and uh, Tokinen, which is still up there on the charts. Now it's time to check out PS Plus. We've already seen a lot of things that were already on sale on PS Plus, but let's have a closer look. Fate Hollow Ataraxia. So this is a limited edition. Presumably this is just a trial of the game. I don't think it is actually the game itself. Yep, it's a trial of the game. So if you want to try the game before you play it, uh, buy it, and that's available. Pac-Man is also on the store. It's on a discount. It's Namco Museum and it looks like it has a few very famous um, Namco, Namco games. Bounty Hounds. Bounty Hounds? Oh, Bounty Hounds. There are no screenshots, but it is a gigabyte in size. The rest of the content was released um, uh, in previous weeks, so there's no need to cover that again. Okay, that's all I've got time to show you this week. I just wanted to show you that um, Fantasy Star Nova, which is the main big title, very excited to get about unboxing that later. Great Edo Back Blacksmith has also come out today. There's this Nisei Koi game, which has various different um, set packs that you can decide which one you want to go for. And um, apart from that, it looks like maybe Fate, Stay Fate Hollow Ataraxia. I think that's a big title as well. And the rest of them are like games that are on sale and visual novels and that sort of thing. Alright, I'm probably just going to leave it there. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, share links and all that good stuff. And I'll see you in the next video, which will probably be the unboxing of Fantasy Star Nova. See you then. Oh. Who's he? What is that kung fu? Whoa. Doing my special moves. Special moves. Special attack.